So maybe you're thinking about moving to Pennsylvania or you're just looking for places that are close to both New York City and Philadelphia. In this video, we're gonna go over what makes Yardley so great and well, maybe not so great. So whether you've never heard of Yardley, Pennsylvania or you're extremely familiar with it, you'll learn something here today. So stick with me till the very end. All right, let's get right into it. So we're gonna start with the pros of Yardley, Pennsylvania. The first pro is just how family friendly and just how community based Yardley PA is. In Yardley, there's tons of family ran local businesses from shopping to breweries to restaurants with just about every type of food you can think of from Italian to Japanese to steakhouses, pizza shops, organic farm to table, and just about everything else you can think of. Residents of Yardley say that Yardley is a very family friendly, welcoming community where everybody has each other's backs and they're always willing to lend a helping hand. Another pro of Yardley, Pennsylvania, is the overall location. Yardley is located in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. And in my opinion, Yardley is probably one of the best towns to live in for commuting both to New York City and to Philadelphia. Taking a look at the average commute time from Yardley to Center City, Philadelphia, it's about 40 to 60 minute car ride depending on time of day and traffic. There's also train access from Yardley to Philadelphia, which will be about an hour train ride. There's really not that many towns that are kind of in the middle of of New York City and Philadelphia, which makes Yardley so very special because people that are trying to move from other states into Pennsylvania, but let's say they have a job relocation in New York or they have a job relocation into Center City, but maybe they just don't wanna live in a very highly populated city and want more space, want more privacy, and want ultimately the suburban small town feel. Yardley is exactly that. The commute time from Yardley to New York City is about an hour and a half to about an hour and 45 minute car ride. There's technically train access as well, but it's about a three hour train ride. And I don't know many people who would be willing to take a three hour train ride to commute into New York City every day if you work there. The train is a great option if you don't need to commute and you're just looking to spend a weekend in New York City without having to deal with the traffic and the parking in New York City. So aside from being close to two of the largest cities in the whole country, Yardley is also only about an hour drive to the beach as well. So how cool is it that you can be only an hour and a half to New York City, an hour to Philadelphia, and an hour to the beach, all while living in the same place? So the third pro for living in Yardley, there's also a lot of other things to do in the town of Yardley, such as Lake Afton, which is in the heart of Yardley Borough. Lake Afton offers an ideal biking and jogging path that spans over 100 miles all throughout Yardley, along with some other towns right around Yardley and even over to New Jersey as well. In the winter, it's extremely common to see ice skaters on the lake. The Delaware River is also a very short drive to even more outdoor activities from hiking, biking, jogging, boating, swimming, and fishing. If you golf, there's also three very popular and well-known golf courses, including the Yardley Golf Club, the Makefield Highlands Golf Club, and right across the bridge in New Jersey is the Trenton Golf Club as well. So if you're a golfer, Yardley might be a great spot for you. When it comes to the nightlife in Yardley, there's tons of breweries, bars, restaurants, and the Yardley Country Club, which is also a great option for nightlife as well. Heading over to the cons of Yardley, Pennsylvania. The first one that we have is the housing prices in Yardley. So because so many people have moved to Yardley and are constantly moving there, ever since the pandemic, a lot more people are looking for close proximity to the major cities, but live living outside of the cities for more space, privacy, and just overall cost of living. And because of that influx of people, it's slowly raising the housing prices in Yardley, PA. But honestly, in my opinion, for everything that Yardley has, for the location that it has, the average housing price in Yardley of $363,300 for everything that you get in and around Yardley. So although the average housing price in Yardley is above the national average, let's take a look and see what type Type of house you can get in Yardley for that price point. So for example, this is a home that just sold in Yardley. It's a three bed, two bath. It's just under 1,800 square feet and it's sold for $375,000. So since Yardley is pretty close to a major water source, the risk for flooding is there as well. So the second con that we have for Yardley is flooding. Depending on where in Yardley you live, the risk of flooding could be higher in some places and maybe 
maybe not as high in other places in Yardley. Obviously, residents and home builders, the town of Yardley plan for a potential flood, but I wouldn't cross Yardley off of your list just because there's a potential for flood because Yardley is a very popular growing town. And if the risk of flood was really actually that high, there wouldn't be so many people moving there if they were all so extremely worried about a potential flood. If you're thinking about moving to Pennsylvania, I would love to be your real estate resource of choice. And until then, I will see you on one of these two videos.